I think there is a good way you can get power with less effort. You ready? I don't know if I am ready, but you look ready. What is your best shot? My best shot? I reckon my on the rise back end. When I, especially on um, hardcore. Okay. In which situation are you uh, struggling, if there is? Like, scoreboard or like mm, whatever. a certain shot. Yeah. Um, trying to improve my forehand when I get pushed back. Trying to sort of, from the fence, I'm trying to neutralize from that position, but yeah. sort of hitting it heavy and high, um, usually to my opponent's back end, so I can get to more time so I can recover, get back into the point. What's your dominant eye? What's that? What's your dog? Oh, right eye. I'm pretty sure. I have no doubt. Well, I think there is a good way you can get power with less effort. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So as you are right eye dominant, the thing you have to avoid with the forehand is to be in that position. This is not good because your eye is here. But very, I mean, instinctively you put yourself there, which is perfect in that position. Sometimes you do that, this is not ideal, so you avoid this one. You're always semi-open or fully, I mean, semi-open or, or if you want to move forward, then you, you stay open here, you don't close. You see the, the net is here, you stay open, okay? I'm gonna feed you balls with no, for, for the moment, we're just gonna focus on transferring the body weight. So as the ball is gonna be short, you're gonna move forward every time, but you're not gonna close. You're gonna move forward like this, staying open here and just feel your body. So just uh, hit a forehand slow motion, do it. Yes, perfect. All right, yeah. Even, yeah, exactly. Like this, you feel comfortable? Yeah, very comfortable. Okay, right racket. Okay, get ready, do it, do it slowly. Up, yeah, go, 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 continue. Okay, okay. So the hand passes first, first, first. Continue, continue, continue. yes. Okay, ready? Now you use your body. Yes, yes. No, 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 you don't need to move. The hand, because otherwise the body passes. I want the hand to pass. Pass your hand, pass your hand, and then the body might follow after. Yes. Follow with the hand, yeah. Yeah, okay? So always the hands, the, and then you, yes. Okay, good. It's not very easy, I have three balls. Okay, okay. On the next ones, come, we're gonna move switch side. So I can talk to you while we walk. Okay, instead of trying to accelerate here, use your body. I would like you to make zero effort for the ball to go fast. I want you to feel that, okay? You don't need to try to force, you just need to use your body. Put it inside the ball. Very good, again. How is this one? Fast or not? It's not bad, huh? You're try not trying to accelerate and the ball accelerates, it's cool. Yeah. Again. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Go with it, go with it. Yes. See how fast? Good job. Again, one more. Okay. So now I'm gonna mix short ones and maybe some deep ones. But it's very important, the dip, as I told you, it's about organization. So when the ball goes deep, the first thing you do is turn your shoulders to up, up. And the goal is that you're able to engage the body forward also. Back and then also forward. Yeah, exactly. But the early preparation is a key. Ready? Good. Again. Again. Okay. Very good. But I would like you to prepare faster. You go a bit like this. I would like you to go. Okay, ready? Go! Yes, and forward. Yes! Ready to prepare early? Up! And you move. Woo! Up! And you move forward. 
Good. Hop, and you move forward. Okay, it's okay, it's good job, good job. And this one is short, you go! Yes. <laughs> feel easy power with the back end. Now you feel easy power with the forehand too. Ready? Pop! And forward. Don't try to force this one. Use your body. Yes. Again, up and use your body. Great. Up and use your body. Forward. Yeah. You got it. Is it your weapon? Not yet. I started tennis that eight years ago when I was eight years old. For my age, I'm still small, but um, obviously not an excuse. Um, but I'm looking to. I'm still at school. Most kids are not at school at my level. Okay. So still at school, but from these next two years, I'm really trying to excel in my tennis. It's a big focus. Okay. So yeah. Let's put. Put, let's put the racket on the floor for the moment. On my hands. Ah, good job. Good. Great. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Ready, let's go. Start slowly. Huh? Not bad, huh? <laughs> great. Oh, it's a good slice. I think you have a great game for grass. I mean, it's interesting a you... A lot of people have said that. I've, yeah. I haven't played... With a lot of people I play with, I don't hear a lot on grass, but they, when I say, oh, I've got stuff on grass, they're like, oh, your game would suit very well. I agree. But because you, you play quite flat on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your ball is fast. So you like pace. Again. Okay, here. No problem. Good job. Excellent. Again. Good job. Same spot. Short, short slice. Okay. In front of me. Don't touch me. Here. Oh. Good 
Good job. Excellent. Perfect. So first of all, all the players prefer the tee because it sounds good. Yeah, hard, yeah. nice guy. Yeah, hard. exactly. But when you when you hit the, the right spot there, look where the guy is. is. Set up the rest of the court yeah, the like guy is completely out of the court. So you take tee so back. It's almost 50-50. Yeah, you take the ball early and we have a completely empty. Yeah, and, and then when you master those two, the opponent has to move a bit to the side to return, and then he opens the tee for you. Very smart. You play great. Thank you.